Welcome to Yellowknife Votes 2009, the uh, city's municipal election. Uh, this is a uh, new web form uh, to introduce the candidates to the voting public and, uh, and let people know who's running and what their platforms are. Uh, on the web page you'll see that there are uh, other uh, uh, platforms in print and uh, uh, also some opportunity to ask some questions. Uh, basically, this is for the candidates. Uh, we just want to uh, introduce them. We're not uh, asking any hard questions. That's going to be up to uh, the voters, and there will be opportunity on the web page to do that. And it's important that if candidates, and many do, talk about affordable housing, that we ask, uh, well, how are you going to do that? Because uh, obviously all of us want to make some affordable housing available for ourselves first. And of course, if we can help everybody else out, that would be wonderful. But uh, it's kind of uh, like defying gravity. But maybe there's some good ideas out there for doing that. It's certainly not impossible. Uh, also taxes, you know, people always want to talk about taxes, but uh, what are you going to cut? Those are the hard decisions. Do you want to lose positions? Uh, uh, then you lose services. Do you want to lose services? Well, not really, because I don't want to haul my garbage to the dump. Um, so it's important that these questions get asked, but uh, for now it will be the voters doing it. Now, we called uh, City Clerk Debbie Gillard up to get some facts, and uh, she wasn't able to give us the final figures, but in the last election there were about 9,000 voters. Uh, the sad news is that in the uh, last election, the voter turnout was 29%, which is pretty bad. She attributes that to the, the lack of mayor's race, so we thank the three uh, gentlemen uh, going after the mayor's uh, chair there, uh, and hopefully that will bring up the voter turnout. Um, generally, uh, Debbie says it's around 40%. So, it's always on the third uh, Monday in October, so we're hopeful that the weather will be good because it has snowed the last uh, few times and that seems to affect voter turnout, which I'm not sure what that says about the fortitude of the Yellowknifers, but uh, maybe there's a lot of car accidents and people too busy uh, filling out uh, uh, forms and uh, getting their cars fixed. Um, so uh, we just want to talk a little bit about what councillors are going to uh, get for their efforts if they are elected. Uh, they get about uh, $21,000 a year, and the mayor gets a uh, $90,000 or so. Uh, uh, for that, they have to attend a full council meeting every second and fourth Monday. Uh, there's also the Municipal Services Committee every first and third Monday at noon, and the Priorities and Planning Committee uh, that comes, let me see, uh, Monday, uh, every Monday at 11 to 4 times a, a month, and if there's a fifth weekend, they get that one off, or a fifth week, they get that off. So, the length of the meeting, of course, depends on the agenda, and if you're talking about something like uh, uh, Tin Can Hill, who knows how long it could go on. So, uh, those uh, successful counselors will be uh, sitting there, uh, pouring through these agendas. So, I don't know if anybody wants to sit down and read those. I won't read them to you because I don't know if I can pronounce all the, uh, all the words. It's pretty complicated. Here we've got a uh, budget document. This one's uh, from, uh, this is a 2007 budget update. I'm still reading that one. So, you know, there's a lot of reading involved, a lot of work, and uh, the rest of us are sitting home watching uh, CSI on three different channels. Um, there's a lot of dedication that goes in there, and all the candidates that we spoke to have that dedication and they have uh, very good ideas, so it's important that you go through all the videos and, uh, and meet them all. Um, I do want to mention that some readers and candidates objected to Yellowknifer's questions about uh, age and family status. Um, I guess I would say that that's their first taste of public life. People want to know about their politicians. Uh, we give uh, politicians both the responsibility of uh, governing us and uh, moving the uh, uh, polls around and stopping, uh, stopping us from uh, messing around in parks and things like that, uh, and along with that goes a lot of power. So it's important that we know who they are and we want to know, and uh, there's nothing stopping us from asking, and if they don't want to answer, they can say, no, oh, I don't want to answer, and some of them did that, and that certainly is their right. So uh, the main thing is to get out and vote October 19th, 2009, and let's bring out that uh, voter turnout, and good luck to all the candidates. Thank you.